Good morning. Boy, it is really, really foggy today. Sometimes when our power source is corrupt, we have a hard time functioning properly. I'll talk about that in just a second. I purchased, or rather my wife purchased, a Harley Davidson semi truck at an auction yesterday. It was a nice little toy and we thought our grandson might enjoy it. We get it home and we turn it over and we see that there is a battery enclosure. And we're thinking, oh, well this is cool. We thought it was just a push along truck and now it might have something that causes it to make noise. Well, I took the battery cover off and Inside, the batteries had corroded and there was all that, that crusty stuff that gets on batteries that have been left too long. And I'm like, ah, so I have to dig all that out and clean it and, you know, try to get it straightened out and put new batteries in it and tried to turn it on to make it make the noises or whatever it was supposed to do for a child's toy. Nothing. Truck looks fantastic. Looks new. Looks great. But the power source cause of the batteries had become corrupted and apparently caused some sort of damage perhaps. Maybe I'll be able to sort it out and maybe I won't. But my point is, is that power source was corrupted. So the truck didn't have the energy to do what it needed to do. Didn't have the power. You know, that's all like us. As long as we keep God as our power source, it will never be corrupted. We'll be able to do what we have to do. You know, it says we'll fly like eagles and run and not tire and things like that. Now, I'm sure some of that's probably symbolic, but my point is, is that if God is your power source, you can continue through the most difficult of circumstances. You can continue when others fail. You can continue even when it's so tough, you don't think you can take another step or your mind can't handle another problem. If you have God as your power source, it's uncorruptible. It's unending. The Lord is the way to accomplish much in our fragile state of existence. Now, the problem is, is when we use something else as our power source. Maybe that's our youth. Hmm, works for a while. Then you start getting old like me. Had a birthday this weekend. Crossed that 53. <laughs> Maybe it's money. Well, you never know when that money's gonna be taken away or you're gonna lose it or something's gonna happen to cause you to have to spend it. That's a corruptible power source. And you know what, if you rely on yourself, your own motivations, your own intellect, your own strengths and talents, that's not gonna last either. Maybe it's beauty. Hmm. Well, we all know what happens to that. All of the things that we might put our trust in go away. All of the sources of power that we have in our lives go away, except for one, and that's God and his love for us through Christ Jesus. That's the only power source that stays forever. What are you trusting? You trust in yourself? You trust in somebody else? You trust in something else? Or are you trusting God? I hope you trust God he's the only way to go. Have a great day. See you next time.